Hi, I am Arjun. Uh, in this today's session, we will see how to solve the problems on fins uh, which are related to FEA. And uh, the problem is calculate the temperature distribution in one dimensional fin with a physical property shown in figure. There is a uniform generation of heat inside the wall of Q bar is equal to 400 watt per meter cube. And this is a given. This is a given diagram with the thermal conductivity 300 watt per meter degree centigrade and it is uh, insulated as well and uh, it has a temperature at this end of 80 degree centigrade. So uh, let us write the finite element formulation uh, for this particular problem. <coughs> now finite element formulation for this problem can be written like this. So we have two nodes, this is T1, this is T2, so uh, this entire fin can be considered as one element, made up of one element. So now since area is given, uh, sorry since radius is given, we need to find out uh, area. So that area is equals to pi d square by 4, so pi into 0 0.02 divided by 4 so 3.1415 into 10 power minus 4 so this is the value of area that will be obtained for this particular problem and <coughs> now we have to con consider thermal conductivity matrix which is k is equals to k a divided by L plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to so K is thermal conductivity is 300 area is 3.1415 10 power minus 4 divided by length is 0 0.08 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so after simplification the k value we are going to get the value of k as 1.1780 minus 1.1780 plus 1.1780 1.1780 this is minus now this is a thermal conductivity matrix and uh, since since for a one dimensional Fin for a one dimensional fin global force vector global force vector is given by F is equal to A Q L divided by 2 1 into 1 this is a matrix used to find out global force vector for a one dimensional fin. So A is 3.1415 and power minus 4. Q is given as 400. Length is 0 0.08 divided by 2 into 1, 1. So global force vector happens to be 5.02644. Ten power minus three, five point zero two six four. Ten power minus three. Now this is the global force vector. So now this is the global force vector. So now what we have to do is we need to find find out the nodal temperatures in order to find out the nodal temperatures. So we need to consider. So we will write the general equation something like this K into T so which is uh, thermal conductivity and H into T for uh, the work potential because, due because of convection plus C into T which is specific heat matrix which is equals to Fe. So this is this is because of conductivity and this is for convection and this is for specific heat matrix 
So this is a general representation for a thermal element. So since there is no convection, this can be treated as zero and there is no specific heat matrix, even this can be treated as zero. So now by keeping this in mind, so now we can formulate something like this, K into T will become equal to F, which is a global force vector, this is a global force. Now, K matrix, we have already solved K matrix, which is 1.1780 minus 1.1780, 1.1780, 1.1780. This is K matrix, temperatures are T1, T2, and uh, the force vector is 5.0264 10 power minus 3. 5.0264 10 power minus 3 and uh, by solving this equation, second equation by using matrix multiplication since we know the value of T1 so 1.1780 T1 minus 1.1780 T2 is equals to 5.0264 10 power minus 3, you can consider any one equation for solving this. So if you solve this, since we know the value of T1, T2 happens to be minus 79.99 degrees centigrade. This is the value of T2. For any clarifications, kindly contact me on the same LID. Thank you.